Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x square divided by square root of x is equals to x and we solve this problem for all the values of x. So here we need to solve this problem for all the values of x uh, and further we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. Now we move toward the solution of this problem from first method and in the first method you see here this square root of x is divided by left hand side when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by x and it will be written as x square is equals to x multiplied by square root of x and now here further in the next step we need to remove this square root sign from right hand side and for this we take a squaring on both of the sides so when we apply squaring on both of the sides it will be written as x square and its whole square is equal to x times of square root of x and its whole square and now here further in the next step we have x square and its whole square becomes x to the power of 4 is equals to here we apply the square sign separately on both of these two values and it will become x square into square root of x and its whole square. And further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as x to the power of 4 is equals to this is x square. This 2 and this square root are cancelled out by each other and we get here x only. And now here further in the next step we have x to the power of 4 is equals to x cubed. And here uh, we move x cubed from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as x to the power of 4 minus x cubed and this whole equation is equal to 0. And now here in the next step uh, you see here both of these two terms involve x cubed so that we will take common x cubed from here and when we take common x cubed here we get x only minus from here we get 1 and this whole equation is equal to 0. And now we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write x cubed equals to 0 and the second case is we write x minus 1 is equals to 0. So from here we easily get the value of x is equals to 0, 0 and 0 because this is cubic equation. It means that here we get these are the three repeated roots of the given equation. And from here we get uh, the value of x is equals to plus 1. This is the uh, one distinct root of the given equation. So here uh, in the first method we will get here these are the two roots of the given equation 0 and 1 uh, and now here in the next step we need to verify that is these roots be the solution of given equation is these two roots be the uh, extraneous root. So for verification we need to copy down a given question statement here it is x squared divided by square root of x is equals to x. And in this side, we will be verify x is equals to 0. And in this side, we will be verify x is equals to 1. So here first, we need to focus on x is equals to 0. And when we substitute x is equals to 0 into the given question statement, it will be written as 0 square divided by square root of 0 is equals to 0. And here we need more simplifications. And you see here, 0 square becomes 0 divided by square root of 0 is also equals to 0 and this whole equation equals to 0 <clears throat> and now you see here uh, our left hand side becomes 0 over 0 form or we usually call that it is the indeterminate form or uh, it is the undefined form so if our left hand side is undefined this means that both of the sides are not equal so if both of the sides are not equal uh, we conclude about that x is equals to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement so we call that x is equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay so this is the extraneous root uh, and now here we need to uh, verify the second root so here we have the second root is x is equals to 1 and now we put this value into the uh, on both of the sides okay so it will be written as 1 square divided by square root of 1 is equals to 1 and 1 square becomes 1 over square root of 1 is also 1 is equals to 1 and here you clearly see that 1 is equals to 1. So this means that both of the sides are equal so we conclude about that 
x is equals to 1 is satisfied over given question statement so we call that x is equals to 1 be the only one solution of the given equation so this is the final conclusion about solution set of the given equation from first method and now here uh, we again solve this problem for second method and in second method we again copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is x square divided by square root of x is equals to x so here our second method be the uh, very sharp method so here we uh, quickly get the roots of the given equation so here in this method we need to focus uh, in the numerator term uh, into the left hand side so this is x square we write or we break this x square as x multiplied by x and it is divided by square root of x is equals to x and now here uh, we know about that if you have a number 2 so we write this 2 as into the product of uh, square roots form okay so we write this 2 as into the product of square root of 2 and square root of 2 so in this uh, rule we write this x as square root of x multiplied by square root of x and it is also multiplied by x divided by square root of x is equals to x only and now here further in the next step we need more simplifications and we have this square root of x and this square root of x are cancelled out by each other and in the left hand side we get x times of square root of x is equals to x and now here uh, our target is to get the values of x so for this we need to take squaring on both of the sides so when we apply squaring on both of the sides it will be written as in this form so here first we apply the square sign separately on both of these two values and it will become x square into square root of x and its whole square is equals to x square and now here further in the next step we need more simplifications and we have this is x square this two and square root are gone and we will get here x is equals to this is our x square so here we have x square multiplied by x becomes x cube and this is positive x square when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes negative x square and this whole equation is equals to zero and now you see here both of these two terms involve x square so that we will take common x square from here and we get the remaining values are x minus 1 and this whole equation is equals to 0. So we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write x square equals to 0 and the second case is we write x minus 1 equals to 0. So from here we easily get the roots of this equation are 0 and 0 these are the two repeated roots and from here we get the distinct root that is x is equals to 1 so in the second method we again get these are the two roots of the given equation but uh, in the first method we already verify that x equals to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement so we call that it is the extraneous root and uh, x is equals to 1 is satisfied our given question statement so we call that it is the solution set okay so that our solution of this problem is x is equals to 1 and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos